Well, hey there, gorgeous. My name is Dusty, and this is the Scorpio Priestess. If you would like a personal reading, you can do that by visiting ScorpioPriestess.com. If you would like to enter to win a half-hour FaceTime reading, you can do that by liking, subscribing, and commenting blessing. We are going to get a look-see at what is coming for the next 24 hours, Scorpio. There's something here that's about to be reawakened. Your hopes are about to be reawakened. There could be a masculine energy entering here, but you are being asked to stay balanced here. Focus on your emotional well-being over the next 24 hours, Scorpio. It's going to be more important than ever that you remain balanced and get in a masculine energy of getting out here and getting it. There's something that's going to uh, make you feel alive again or something that you're about to manifest or a new thought idea that's going to come in, but it will require you to connect to your higher self here and remain balanced and not a hot mess. There's something that could push you in the next 24 hours that may make you feel really chaotic and messy, Scorp. So it's going to be important that you stay emotionally balanced. What is this spirit? Why hot mess, chaotic, feeling miserable? Connect to your higher self here, guys. Choose what's best for your highest good. There's someone that's very hard for you to resist. This person is super toxic. Their mindset is toxic and uh, they may be coming back in. You're actually magnetically drawing them back to you. This is someone that could have relocated away from your house. They may have had to move because you all went through a breakup or you could have had to relocate because of a breakup. Some of you may meet someone new who has just relocated to your city. Tell me about hot mess, please. There's someone that you could possibly attract in a new masculine energy, whether it's a friend or a lover, that's just relocated to your area. You could meet this person at work or out in the community. It could be an Aquarius, a water sign, or an air sign. There's somebody, a masculine energy, Scorpio, that it's like a damn tyrant. This person wants you when they want you, and when they don't, they don't. They're very stubborn. They're very controlling. They want to control everything, and your guides are asking you to choose what is best for your highest good. There is a test coming in, guys. In the next 24 hours, some of you are going to be banged with a test. The divine testing you to see if you're ready to, to purge and get out of this toxic bad relationship it's time for you to do that it's time for you to connect to your higher higher self score or if you're just going to walk back into the fire again this person is very hard for you to resist they can be very charming, but Scorpio, you already know who this person is. They've shown their self to you time and time again. And there's also another masculine energy coming in. For those who date masculine energies, you have someone from your past or your present that's very toxic and you have someone new who has just relocated to your area manifesting in. Now it just depends on where you are on the timeline but some of you may hear from your ex and then later on that evening meet a new person or vice versa. Some of you just met somebody over the last week or so. This person is new to your area. Yeah, you're gonna be really indecisive this has been a on and off relationship you've been on and off there's a lot of celestial things going on planetary influence here scorp tell me about this person that's coming out is very stubborn very arrogant very uh their way or the highway this person's been um playing games with you They've kept you in the friend zone. They've wanted to keep this a friends with benefits situation. You all have been just sleeping together or just casually seeing each other. There's going to be a test with this person over the next 24 hours. A lot of you here, you're going to have to choose what's best for your highest self or you're going to end up here. You're going to end up feeling miserable, sad, and distressed. 
you you seem to be um, networking a little more, going out with friends more. That's what you're being called to do right now. This person is unsure of their intentions in Scorpio. They just want to keep it casual. So if you're looking for something serious, this is not the one for you. If you want a serious, committed relationship, this person is not the one for you. And, and you know that, but your mindset is a little toxic because you have dealt with this person for so long now, you're picking up on their energy. There's a toxic energy cord for sure. I would do a cord cutting if I was you. There could be somebody with reddish brown hair and somebody with blonde hair involved. Some of you may be out with friends and run into this past person over the weekend. If you are planning on going out tonight, Scorpio, you may run into this person that is uh, always wanting to keep it casual and has not given you any serious love offer in a very long time. They seem to put you in this place where it's you're just worried your mind's racing they come in they love bomb they run back out the door they choose to stay single they're a free spirit they just they like their their freedom and they don't seem to want anything real and it will be entirely up to you but if this person puts you in a place where you're feeling miserable chaotic and sad you already know what the answer is but they seem to be very hard for you to resist the thing is, Scorpio, is your energy is magnetically attracting into people. Um, now, if you date feminine energies, you are bringing in two people who are in a very masculine energy. I have the tendency to be in a masculine energy a lot of the times myself. That just means maybe they're very business focused. Maybe they're in their bag. They're single parents, whatever the case is. But over the next 24 hours, you could possibly attract in a new person and a old person. And you're going to have to make a decision. For a lot of you, there is a test coming. If it's not in the next 24, it will be in the next two weeks. You're being called now to connect to spirit. You're on the path of the divine. You are on the right path, Scorpio, but it's important that you make healthy decisions and you stay balanced and focused. Now, some of you are meeting a new person that's going to reawaken lost hope inside of you. You may have lost all hope that you're ever going to meet someone right for you. And this new person coming in, boy, that's going to be a unbreakable bond, a love of a lifetime. And if you thought the past person was hot, if you thought that relationship was deep, wait until you get a load of this new person, Scorpio. You're not going to know what to do with it. It's a very strong, very stable relationship. You're being called now, once again, to uh, stay calm, stay balanced. There is wishes granted, magical energy surrounding you, my friends. You are attracting in some really good things. Those who do not want to date and you're not open to dating at all, you could be attracting in other things with your thoughts. Tell me what this is. You are attracting things into your life here, um, Scorp. You, are, you may be attracting in an opportunity to relocate for those that want to relocate like me. You may be attracting in a new opportunity at a distance. It's going to require you to save some money here. You are doing this with your thoughts, with your feelings, and with your actions, magician, energy, babe, babe. You have all the tools in your tool belt to manifest a new person or a new really great job opportunity. This new person could be an Aquarius or a Virgo, an Earth sign in general, a Capricorn, a Taurus, or a Virgo. Um, tell me about those Scorpios not manifesting love, but something else. What can we tell them about that? Because not everybody's looking to meet a new lover, I know. High Priestess Energy, um, you need to use your intuition here and connect to your higher self. Page of Pentacles, this is a brand new job offer that you are going to love. A lot of you are in this magical energy of attracting, not chasing. You finally mastered every queen in the deck and you are uh, in this Empress energy, attracting and not chasing. So beautiful. It's been a long, hard road, but you're about to uh, feel a lot of, I'm just hearing spice for life. You may be feeling 
excited over the next 24 hours or good again or like, you know what, I can do this thing called life or this is what direction I want to go. And as soon as you make up your mind or you speak something out into the ether, Scorpio, you're going to watch it appear in your physical reality. And it, when that happens, trust and believe it is not a coincidence. If you have been wanting to meet a new lover, but you've been a little confused, it looks to me like uh, getting yourself balanced here, aligning with your higher self and staying in this abundant, happy, high vibe energy is going to attract in a new person that's just relocated to your area. You could meet this person out and about in the community. Some of you, this is your friend's cousin, brother, something, sister, friend. There's somebody that may be considering relocating to your area, but they're staying with a friend or a family member or something like this. They could be a Pisces or a nurse sign. Those Scorpios are attracting in new job opportunities. You may have to relocate for this job, but it would really set you on a path of uh, abundance, let me tell you. If you decide to do this, Scorp, you may be making plans to relocate and you're going to find a new apartment over the next 24 hours or you're going to find a new home or you're going to get an offer on your home so you can move. Transition, you see, you're just in transition right now. Which part of your life is or may be going through a transition? Maybe you are changing relationships, careers, or cities. Whatever it is, the crow is signaling that you are ready to make the change. If you feel like you're not ready, you're not ready to start dating, or you're not ready to relocate, think again, Scorpio. You're going to have to do it scared. You may never feel 100% ready, but it looks to me like whoever I'm channeling today, you're coming out of a place of feeling miserable and disorderly, this toxic mindset to attracting things into your life. And it's going to really, really reawaken lost hope inside of you. There's a very uncommon bond about to manifest in as well. Maybe this is a friendship, but for a lot of you, this is a new lover. There's so much healing. You may be thinking about going hiking over the next 24 hours or reconnecting in nature. That's a really good idea. You may want to get out into nature. You may want to take some kind of nature walk today or tomorrow and really connect here to your higher self. Whatever you seek, your tenacity and faith will be paying off. Know that no matter the temporary outer conditions, you will manifest your desires in divine timing in the form that best suits you. Scorpio, you are manifesting right now. You're in a heavy, uh, rapid manifestation period. It's important that you stay in a balanced place, guys. You're, it's important that you stay in a place of, of high vibrational energy because you do not want to attract in a low vibration. You're just going to continue to attract in toxic things. It's important that you stay in a high vibe in the next 24 hours. Those meeting a new lover, you're going to be really surprised. You may have a date tonight. You may have been talking to this person for a few weeks and you're going to decide over the next 24 to go out and you're going to be surprised on how well it actually goes. I really wish you all the very best. I hope you have the best Friday and the best 24 hours ever. Love and light.